Big city, here we come. So there it is. The room has died a couple times. Yeah, did you get my permission? No. Wow. <laughs> See you never again. Maybe never again. <laughs> the valuables. There are no valuables that left. Living out of these suitcases now. We literally are houseless. We have no end date. Jump on an airplane. Come with us. We'll show you. Colorado. Snowy. Okay, so we're finally off to the big city. First time in a long time <laughs> we've been in the city. We're heading from the western slope of Colorado to Denver, take care of some business before we can move on to the next big part of our uh, travels. Big city, here we come. Can't wait. <laughs> there it is. Still there. Okay, so we made it to the Denver area to our storage unit. Uh, we have an old vehicle that we're getting rid of. We have to uh, sort out our storage unit too, so we're getting rid of the storage. The drive to here, we're in eastern Denver right here um, from the western slope where we were near Montrose. It took about six hours. Tomorrow, Tuesday morning, we have a uh, tow company coming to throw this on a flatbed. Um, it probably will start, but we're not even going to bother trying. We've been on the road for just over five years, but this is it's been in this garage for about um, four years. So today we have to uh, inflate the wheels. We have to drop it because we put them on jack stands uh, to take the weight off the wheels. So we need to jack it up, get the jack stands out. First we need to put air in the tires. Clear out all the stuff we have inside, which is a lot. <laughs> bike. Shockingly, there's still air in the tires. It's been sitting here for four years. I thought they'd be totally flat. Jack. A jack. What'd you say? If you can believe we've been driving around with this thing for like maybe three years, I think. Because Changing to go flat on an RV is no easy task. This makes it a million times easier. I thought he was crazy for wanting to bring this around, but it's saved us several times. Yeah. Selling this mountain bike, because it's of no use anymore, because we'll be not in this country. So we're kind of sad. The longer we like are here, spending time with the vehicle that we love so much. Yeah. We have great memories from camping in, 4 by 4 ing it, it was our workhorse for a long time when we lived yeah. up in the mountains. Pups hanging out of it. We had a whole water to our house. When we first hit the road in our yeah. RV, this was our tow vehicle. <laughs> On paper, it can tow our RV, but it really shouldn't. It was yeah. dangerous as hell. Yeah. We almost died a couple times. <laughs> so what we're doing is we're actually donating it. We're not selling it. So um, that actually makes us happy. We, ha we have this expense, you know, for the storage unit, plus insurance, we still have full coverage insurance on it every month for five years that adds up to a lot of money and we don't want to do that for another five years we had every intention on uh, you know restoring this vehicle uh, but you know life goes on life things change, change. Yeah. yeah and we have other things we want to pursue and this isn't one of them anymore <laughs> so we're gonna be donating this to habitat for, for humanity and uh, it's something that is close, near and dear to my heart. Oh, I said slow. You're covered in. Yes. I'm filthy. Look at this. Oh. One more. Okay, it's ready. Dirty, dirty, dirty. 
filthy, dirty knees even. You wore the wrong outfit. You wore the right outfit. Those holy jeans. <laughs> We've got a lot of shit. I actually don't. All of our downsizing happened five years ago. We left our house. We had a whole house full of stuff, but pretty big house, and it's like it was all gone. With what you see is what we have. The storage units, everything we own, and in the van, and the RV. Good to go. Now we're done. Uh, uh, yeah. Did you give me permission? No, I don't need permission. <laughs> I'm having the, it's called a Munch Wrap Supreme. Well, I guess they, they, they uh, fashion it after the, the crunch cut. Is that something I talked about? I don't know. I'm not sure. We forgot to start filming before we started eating. This is the Munch Wrap with regular fries. Cider branch dressing. Delicious. French fry stuffed Munch Wrap. Yeah. We are back at our storage facility. Very next day, we had a bit of a change of plans. Last night, we met with some family members and we discovered that some of them, with very young kids, sold out here. Um, they're, they're, they're really needing a vehicle right now and we were just gonna donate this to Habitat for Humanity, but we have a family in need, so that kind of takes priority. So we're gonna, we're gonna help them out just a little bit. Um, they said that they're more than willing and able to do whatever it takes to get this thing roadworthy. So we're gonna power it up today, and we're gonna try to power it up today. And wish us luck because this thing hasn't been started in over four years. Because this hasn't been started, we were advised to add what's called sea foam to the fuel. It's supposed to like clean the engine, but also help the fuel, old fuel become usable again, I guess? I don't know. We're gonna shake this truck up and down. We're gonna try. <laughs> try to mix that into the fuel. Oh, oh my god. Are you okay? <laughs> Jesus. <It's fun. laughs> Make it rock. For a change, the engine's cleaner than the outside of the vehicle. All right, so we need to hook up the battery again. Forget it, do we do negative first? I think we do negative first. It's gonna make a noise. Wow, that's... No noise, maybe it's totally dead. Still got clean oil. Brand new oil. Well, brand new four years ago with almost no miles on it. But we're gonna advise your family to change the oil immediately. For sure. Because it'll break down just sitting here. Wow. Things started right up. Like a piece of cake, right? Yeah. That was easier, way easier than I thought it was going to be. I should have seen all the dust. It was like, poof. Awesome.
sit now? Yep. Yeah. It's kind of sad. It is. Anyways, here. Would you rather do what we're planning on doing or would you rather just drive this around? Yeah, I'd rather do what we're going to, what we have planned. Yeah. Thank you. These license plates expired in 2019, four years ago. We need to drive it maybe 15 miles or so to where we're taking it. Hopefully we don't get pulled over. We are fully insured though, so that's not a problem. <laughs> Going down memory lane with this, this road frame, Natala. That was my racing bike when I was about 19 years old. Won my first race with this bike, so it's hard to get rid of. So I'm probably not going to get rid of it. Probably keep it forever. Just got to store it somewhere. <laughs> Two bikes, I've got to fit in here. There's artwork in here we need to like protect. Today, we just picked up our international driving permits, times two. You probably don't recognize this vehicle. This is not ours. <laughs> no, we're in a rental car because our van is in the shop. And then we're going to be selling that thing pretty soon. We're going to head back to the western slope of Colorado. We're still in the Denver area. Take care of a little bit more business there. Organization of the things that we are still keeping. So these international, these international uh, driving permits were super easy to do. We just went to a AAA office. I think you can go to only AAA. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Any AAA? AAA? Right. Only AAA actually issues the official ones that are fully legal in other countries. The ones you might find online, not legal, and they will not accept them in hmm. foreign countries. That's interesting. Yep. Yeah, it was super easy. Uh, they took our uh, photos. They're basically the same as passport photos. So if they need two photos. So if you already have those, you can just take those in or you can pay them to do it. All in all, um, we both got photos taken and both got our permits and it was about $60. Is that right? It was $67.20 total. Right. So. Yeah, right. And they're good for a year. So I don't know how we're gonna renew them if we're not in the United States. A year we said we now. could do it by mail, but we don't know that that process is gonna be like, so. We might and have to make a trip. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna have to come back to get our driver's licenses yeah. renewed. <laughs> we located a uh, plant-based pizza joint in Denver. I think it's fairly new. It's got rave reviews called Mora Pizza. We're gonna go check it out. It's right next door to the Ogden Theater on Colfax near downtown Denver. Yeah, this is it. It says open five. Is the door open? Are you open? How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Let me know if you have any questions. Look at that big ass pizza. We're still in the Denver area running errands. Today we're buying luggage at Costco. Apparently it's snowing. <laughs> snowing on its big puffy flakes. It's cool. Yeah. We shopped around for luggage and Costco's by far the best deal. Uh, like half the price of anywhere else. We get an entire set for like the price of one carry-on bag. Amazon has some decent stuff, but we don't want to have to go through the whole shipping thing and then if it's not right, shipping it back and all that. So here we are at Costco. The exciting luggage aisle at Costco. Well, that was a bust at Costco. <laughs> Um, the dimensions on the carry-on luggage are just a hair too big for some of the airlines we'll be flying on frequently. And even though we think they might let it slide, we don't want to take that risk and be like in Europe or Asia or somewhere and 
not have the right luggage and have to check everything. Because um, we definitely want to carry on um, some of our bags to have it, you know, with us, important stuff. So we're going to do the Amazon route and we actually have some stuff picked out that um, is a tiny bit smaller. So we know it'll work and that's the route we're going to go, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll show you those when we get them. I'm sure you're dying to see them. You just can't wait. <laughs> now we're headed to uh, a place in Inglewood. Colorado, I believe, um, is called Fellow Traveler. It's a plant-based restaurant in South Denver or Inglewood, and it's got rave reviews. Um, people are just, they just love it. So we're gonna go check it out. They have a really interesting menu. And they have chocolate cake. <laughs> chocolate cake, yum. We made it to the Fellow Traveler. Scott's gonna get the chickpea salad sandwich. I'm gonna get the Deep South Broadway burrito. We're gonna share the fried avocado tacos. We're also getting, we both got the uh, rosemary peach bellini, uh, non-alcoholic. They have all these great looking drinks. So we noticed this really cool artwork. Uh, it's kind of, they're kind of like window shades. They, they pull down and they're interchangeable. They have three different, looks like they have three different um, pieces in there. So they can change the look and feel anytime they want, which is really cool. Without, without replacing the entire thing. We decided to get chocolate cake. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love, I love, I go. Chocolate cake is like my jam. That's so good. Makes me so happy. Yummy. It's like a warm brownie. Yeah. But it's cake. Yeah. Good, huh? Post meal reaction of fellow traveler on South Broadway in Inglewood, Colorado. It was potentially one of the most amazing restaurant experiences. Especially a vegan specific plant based yeah. restaurant. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It was on uh, another level. Yeah. The, I, I couldn't, the, the dessert, the, the chocolate cake we had for dessert tasted like a warm, fresh brownie with peanut butter sauce. I ate so much food there. I, kept, I just kept wanting to order more food. <laughs> I couldn't finish my brownie or my, sorry, chocolate cake because I'm so stuffed because I just, I just had to load up on the food. It was so good. Yeah. And I believe it's the owner, Huge Joe. Huge thank you to Joe. So nice. So friendly. Really cool. Yeah. Wow. The interior to the plates. The music. The drinks that the we had. The whole vibe was amazing. Yeah. Finally, Denver has a really, really good vegan restaurant. Yeah, and again, it's on another level. It's because we were trying to figure out if we had had, like what the best place on all of our travels have been. Yeah. And this one is now. It's up there. It's up it's there. It's definitely it's the top or top yeah. three. It's the top for me because the yeah. other ones we couldn't. I, it's hard to remember. <laughs> not that the others were bad, just yeah. not on this level. So we today are putting our uh, RV into storage, the RV that we've called home for the past five years. That is so good. Like caked on dirt. So this is like five years worth of road grime in this lock. So WD-40. Oh, look at that. Ta-da. Good old WD. And now we are locking all of this up and we are ready for a new adventure. Shut it up. Shut her down. Close it up, I guess I was trying to say. Okay, 
RV. We will see you. No idea when. A year from now, two years from now, five years from now. <laughs> Maybe never again. Maybe never again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do it one time. We'll have to come and get the valuables out. Yeah, the valuables. There are no valuables that left in there. Okay. So this is this is everything we're taking to uh, the city with us. We basically are living out of these suitcases now. So we've gone from that RV <laughs> to these suitcases and One, two, backpack. Three, four, yeah, that's yeah. It. The rest of it's just like food and stuff that we're gonna get rid of in the city. And then we're gonna be selling this van very, very shortly. That's right, somebody's gonna snap it up. That's right. So when we left our mountain house five years ago to hit the road for a full-time RV living, it felt it felt very strange, you know, pulling away that very first time driving down our road. We kind of have the same feeling here, leaving the RV. <laughs> that has been our home, basically our home for the past five years. Yeah. Um, with the help of this van too, of course. And so, like, no matter where we were, we had that RV. That was our one constant, right? Except for you know, each other, of course, and our pups. It's kind of strange. We literally are houseless now. Of, of <laughs> yeah. We have like no house of any kind anymore. It feels very familiar, but but so strange at the same time. Because when we got rid of everything, that felt really good, and then all of a sudden we realized we had nothing except yeah. for what we were taking. Rolling down the road with. And got used to that, got good at RVing. Yeah. Pretty good. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we were okay. And yeah, this feels like completely unknown, very, very strange. So. We'll keep you updated on the strangeness. Yeah. We'll be living out of suitcases from for the foreseeable future. We have no end date at all. So we're heading down to the front range of Colorado, Denver, the Denver area. And um, that's our last stop before we jump on an airplane. Yeah. Yay! So, so come with us. <laughs> come with us. We'll show you. First day on the road without our home, <laughs> but it's been our home for yeah. the last five years. It feels a bit weird. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Okay, we did a quick stopover one night in Frisco because we didn't want to hit Denver yet. We're going to Denver today to our van for sale. One of the very last things we do before we take off.